I just want to ask a quick question very quickly about uh, immigration as well, Tali, because just uh, obviously as we were coming to uh, begin the show, Tali, we, uh, we saw that the Republicans were defeated on their compromise bill as far as immigration is concerned. Just give us the details on this and what next as far as that is concerned, and we'll weave this into uh, the future debate as well as far as the next justice is concerned. Yeah, this uh, vote went down in flames. Uh, a very small minority of, of House members voted for this so-called compromise bill. Uh, the, the leadership used this bill in order to stave off a more bipartisan approach that would have included Democrats and Republicans. In this case, uh, this bill that was supported by the president in a very uh, all-caps tweet that came out earlier today saying that people should vote for this. Uh, Conservatives just couldn't stomach it. They voted against it. All Democrats voted against it. Even some moderates weren't too happy about how the bill ended up. So this was a, an embarrassment for the House leadership that tried to put together a compromise. It just shows how difficult it is to uh, solve the issue of immigration. Republicans have had trouble taking it on since they've taken leadership. Democrats have tried to force a vote on a bill that they would like, but Republicans tried to go it alone and were not able to do it. So we're really back to square one. There's no, uh, no resolution to whether it's the, the DACA issue, whether the it's the president's wall, whether it's the issue of family separation. All of those things were tied up in this bill, and it went down in flames by a very large margin. So it looks like this is something Republicans are going to try to put behind them and not try to tackle legislatively for a while now. I mean, for whichever Republican we're talking about here, David, I can't imagine any of them really, particularly for the conservatives, wanting to put their neck on the line here when you're not sure where the president stands ultimately when he said, quit it, you're wasting your time. Completely right. Although my first reaction when I heard this was they gave up, the Republicans gave up the excuse, the Democrats made me do it. <laughs> so no, Because there are okay. people's lives and their futures are wow. hanging in the balance here. There are real people out there and there are some people who are worried about those people, whether they're dreamers or whether they're children separated from their parents. And if the, the conservatives have come up with a bill and then the Democrats had done it down in the Senate, they said, well, not my fault. Right now, it's sort of like they broke it, they own it. Any chance of resurrection here, Tulu, or we leave it till after the midterms now? A very little chance yeah. of a resurrection of a major bill. Maybe they will have a narrow bill that will focus specifically on the family separation issue, which now the courts are involved in. That's more likely than having this big, comprehensive approach that's fallen down in flames in this case and in many other cases in the past. So I don't see leadership wanting to reopen that box. They're probably just going to want to turn the page and, if anything, do a very narrow bill that can focus on things that everyone agrees on, which is that we don't necessarily want to be separating parents from their children at the border.